In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Sheet add-on Formule. Formule sends targeted, personalized emails from a Google Sheet. You can either run it as a manual email merge where you go in and tell it when to run, or as a triggered merge that runs automatically on a form submit. So as soon as the user submits a form, the email is automatically generated and sent to them. I like to use Formule when I am collecting registrations for a technology training session that I'm having. Um, you can see here, this is a spreadsheet um, based on a registration form that I have I already had somebody submit. And as soon, and by adding the Formule um, add-on, I will be able to generate an email to this person reminding them of the date and time of the session that they signed up for. Likewise, if you're an administrator, you might like to use Formule if you have an evaluation, a, a teacher evaluation form that you use using a Google Form. With Formule, what will happen is when you submit the form after the evaluation, a copy of the evaluation um, materials are gener is generated and sent to that teacher. So they get immediate feedback based on your visit. So let's take a look at how Form Mule is set up and how it is used. So this is the uh, spreadsheet that uh, goes with this form that I have already created for my Technology Tuesdays registration. And in the spreadsheet, I'm going to go to the add-ons menu. Now there's lots of different add-ons that you could use. We don't see Form Mule here, so we're going to go to Get Add-ons. You can either look through the gallery here and find it, or you can simply type in Formule. When that comes up, we want the Formule image email merge utility. We'll go ahead and click Free to add it. It needs access to the following things in your drive. It's all OK, so we'll go ahead and click Accept at the bottom. It'll take just a minute, and it will add Form mule as an add-on choice in your add-ons menu and it will tell you that it has been added. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go up to the add-ons menu. We can see here that form mule um, has been added and we're going to go ahead and set up our and we're going to choose our source data and set merge type. And uh, now that you've added form mule that will always be available from the add-ons menu. Each time you create a new sheet, you will need to go through these options. The first thing that we're going to need to do is select the sheet where the, the email address is in the merge source data is located, and that is the form responses one. You have two options. You can either run it manually, which means you would have to go into the spreadsheet and cause it to run, or even more powerfully is merge it on the form submit. So as soon as you hit submit, or as soon as the user submits a form, an email will be generated based on their data. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that option on. We'll leave these options blank for right now. Next, templates and set conditions. With Form Mule, you, a great feature is that you can actually have more than one email template attached to a particular spreadsheet. So in this case, if I have different sessions that the people were registering for, I could send two or three different emails based on their session choices. In this situation, I'm just going to go ahead and create one unique email template to use. And we can also trigger it to run on certain con when certain conditions are met. But in this case, we want to send the email template for all rows, all rows in our spreadsheet. Save the template settings. And the next thing we'll do is edit the template. So here's where we are going to build and preview our template. If you had multiple templates selected, you'd be able to choose from them right here. Anything with an asterisk is required. That means that that field has to be filled in. Over here on the left-hand side are the merge tags. And these merge tags actually come from your spreadsheet. These are actually the column headings in your spreadsheet. So the first option, or the first thing that we need to fill in is two. Who is this email to? Well, I had turned on the feature to automatically collect the username, which is their email address. So I'm going to click my cursor on the to line, and I'm going to select username from my merge tags. That will send the email to that particular user. CC, you can carbon copy this message to somebody. You can blind carbon copy this message to somebody. Those are optional. Reply to, this is who replies will go to. So when they hit reply, uh, where will these replies go to? It's a good idea to put your email address in there. 
The next option is required. It is the subject. Um, go ahead and put in a subject that makes sense. So for in my case here, I will put Technology Tuesday Registration. And then the next place is for the body of your email. And this is where you will indicate uh, your results. Um, you can type in whatever information you want them to receive in this email. And each time you can add information from the spreadsheet by using these merge tags. So here I'm ready to pull in one of the merge tags. And I had two choices on this particular form, Kahoot and Fluberoo. So we'll go ahead and put Kahoot. So it will say Kahoot. And then this in the carrots here means it will pull that data from the spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. The second choice was Fluberoo, so I want to add that as well. And then I can continue um, writing my email. Again, any of the data that you collected in the spreadsheet can easily be added to the email by selecting one of these merge tags. So once you're finished with adding the merge tags, you can go ahead and preview what the email will look like by clicking Preview This. And again, this is what the email is going to look like to your users. When you're done previewing, you can go ahead and preview and send all. Now remember, we set this up so that it runs on form submit. So after this first initial time, anytime a user submits a form, an email will automatically be generated. So we'll go ahead and preview and send all. So on the first time that you do this, it will allow you to preview it. And then you can either edit the template if you don't like what it looks like, or you can go ahead and send it now. And on your spreadsheet, you will notice that you now have a new column for the template send status. And it will tell you the date and the time that that template was sent and who it was, or that email was sent and who it was sent to. So if we switch over to this uh, person's email, we'll see that a Technology Tuesday registration has, um, has appeared. And there is the information that they will receive based on the form Mule and how you have it set up. So Form Mule is a really useful tool that will allow you to send form results when you submit a Google Form.